the CEO of Norfolk Southern went to Congress. He, you know, he had to go to the hearings. And Ed Markey, Senator Ed Markey, asked a simple question. Are you going, and I, I'm paraphrasing here, are you going to make the people, the good people in East Palestine, whole? And the CEO refused to answer the question, which doesn't speak well for the people in East Palestine, unless they, they change from their ways of electing right-wing conservatives who continuously vote against them, including voting to allow uh, Norfolk Southern to have bad bad policy, lay off workers, and cause the derailment that we had there? Are they going to stop electing that kind of folk? We'll see. But check out what this CEO had to say about making East Palestine whole. Should be ashamed of himself. The rail industry in general that has reduced its workforce by one third over the last 10 years. And in that reduction in workforce, there is a reduction in the measure of safety that has to be built in, in order to guarantee that people avoid these kinds of catastrophes. So let me ask you, um, Mr. Shaw, about a decision that your company has made. You, you've chosen an arbitrary one mile radius from the disaster site for people to qualify for assistance, meaning some families who breathe the same air, drink the same water, aren't getting the same help. Mr. Shaw, will you commit to providing financial compensation to all affected people, including those who live outside your arbitrarily chosen one mile radius around the derailment site? Senator, we've made our family assistance center and payments available to folks within the zip code, within Darlington Township, we've committed... Will you commit to helping those people outside of the one-mile radius? That's my question. Yes or no? Senator, we already are. You already are? Yes, sir. All right. Well, that's not uh, clear. Uh, okay. uh, will you commit to compensating effective homeowners for their diminished property values? Senator, pardon me, Senator, I'm committing to do what's right. Well, what's right is a family that had a home worth $100,000 that is now worth $50,000 will probably never be able to sell that home for $100,000 again. Will you compensate that family for that loss? Senator, I'm committing to do what's right. That is the right thing to do. These are the people who are innocent victims, Mr. Shaw. These people were just. They're at home, and all of a sudden, their small businesses, their homes are forever going to have been diminished in value. Norfolk Southern owes these people. It's an accident that is basically under the responsibility of Norfolk Southern, not these families. When you say do the right thing, will you again compensate these families for their diminished lost property value for homes and small businesses. Senator, we've already committed $21 million, and that's a down payment. That is a down payment. Will you commit to ensuring that these families, these innocent families, do not lose their life savings in their homes and small businesses? The right thing to do is to say, yes, we will. Senator, I'm committed to doing what's right for the community, and we're going to be there. As no, what, what's right for the community will then be balanced, which is what we can see from your stock buybacks, by what's right for Norfolk Southern. And that's going to be to sue, to fight, to resist full compensation for these families. That's the pattern we've seen over the last 10 years in your one-third reduction in workforce with its natural... Um, concomitant re reduction already... in safety. Okay, then uh, go to you right uh, now. We're not hearing the right things today. These families want to know long-term, are they just going to be left behind? Once this, once the cameras move on, once uh, the, the, the national attention uh, dies down, you know, where will these families be? I think they're going to be in the crosshairs of the accountants of 
Norfolk Southern saying, we're not going to pay full compensation. That's why we're going to stay on this case until everyone in East Palestine is given the justice which they deserve. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to until we give them the justice they deserve. Now, you see how these corporations work. They take PPP money, they, they, they just pocket it and expand their, their, their base in some form instead of really getting it to the people. Now, they go ahead and they pollute. These people were living their lives in East Palestine. They were living their lives. They weren't bothering anybody. And a train comes in with their bad maintenance record and they dump a lot of crap in the soil, in the water, in the air. And when it's time to make things hold, you know, they are always talking about, we don't want regulations. I mean, if you, if you get regulations and because of the regulations you get, you, you still commit, you know, things happen. Then you can say, oh, well, it was the regulations fault and we need some compensation from the government because you gave a regulation that wasn't. But these guys are saying, we don't want no damn regulations. We don't want it. And then when these things occur, they try to get out of it. And they refuse to say, we are going to clean up the mess we created. Like I said in an, in a, in an interview several weeks ago, uh, you know what they're hoping for. They're hoping that ultimately speaking, our government, the United States of America, will be left holding the bag to do all this cleanup. They should be ashamed of themselves. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.